All right, Kyle K. Burleson, Texas. Hey, Alan, here are my questions for your video. Is a certain active ingredient better than others depending on the app and turf type? He's got three questions. That's a good one. So let's talk about that. So we recommend or I recommend prodiamine in the spring. Um, if you have dithiapyr, it's they're going to work about the same. The only difference is from my experience, prodiamine is going to work a little better in the spring when you have a lot more rain. It's going to stick a little bit better. But, but it's not going to probably be noticeable for most of you. So if you have dithiapyr or prodiamine, they're going to work about just the same. There are some other chemistries you can get that are pre-emergence that are going to work very well. But for the most part, prodiamine and or dithiapyr, but prodiamine is the most affordable, the most, most approachable, the easiest to put down, and we just know it works. So it's the gold standard. So that's why I just stick with it. It's just what we know works. It's tried and true. And, and again, it's, and it's easy to get, and it's not that expensive. Okay. Now, I will talk real quick here. I'll bring up the idea of the dithiapyr. So in the past, I would tell you guys, do prodiamine is your first app and dithiapyr is your second. And that's because that's what we did at True Green. But I was talking to Matt Martin a couple of years and he reminded me of something. And, and, I, and it had just something I just didn't think about. When the reason we rec, I would typically, oh, I don't go back to this. The reason I would say use dithiapyr as the second application is because it's the later application. And dithiapyr does have some post-emergence control on young crabgrass. So if you did have a few escapees, and, or you were late with your crabgrass pre-emergent, maybe you found this video really late, it's like late May in Indiana, and you still wanted to put a pre-emergent down, soil temps were still there, you would use dithiapyr because if there are any escapees, it can have some post-emergence control on them. And that is true. But what Matt told me is, Alan, it's got to be liquid for that to happen. You don't get it with the granular. And so I thought about that. And I'm like, he's right. Because when you're, when you're trying to kill something post-emergent, you want to coat the leaf with a liquid. It has to stick to the leaf of that, in this case, crabgrass, in order to kill it. If you're using the granular, it's going into the soil, right? So therefore, you do not get the post-emergent control when you use dithiapyr granular. And he corrected me on that. And the thing about that is you can't really get an inexpensive dithiapyr liquid. Go look. You, it's one of those where you got to pay a couple hundred bucks for a gallon, I think, for the most part. Now, it'll, it'll last you a long time, but it's, it's just one of those that's just not going to work out there. So I kind of abandoned that application strategy where I went from prodiamine to dithiapyr because of that, because if you're using granulars, you don't get that added benefit. So I just wanted to correct that for some of you guys that are more advanced. So 